Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Arcade Classic 1, Asteroids Missile Command. Boy, that's a mouthful. As we have seen over the years, the Game Boy loved ports. With a whole new way to play games available, companies were desperate to re-release their games as well as old games on the hot new hardware. And one company that joined in on the fun was Nintendo themselves. Whether it was updates to the classic Game & Watch series, puzzle games like Tetris or Dr. Mario, or even major remakes like Battletoads, Nintendo ended up developing and publishing a whole cavalcade of ports during the Game Boy's lifespan. And while I can't find any data on this, I would love to find a list of how many Game Boy games were ports versus original games. Maybe I'll put it together myself. It, uh, may take a while. One of the ports that Nintendo released was a series known as Arcade Classic. Each one took two famous games and re-released them on one cartridge for younger players to enjoy. There were five in total, the first four all developed by veteran port company The Code Monkeys and published by Nintendo, and the fifth was both developed and published by Black Pearl Software. And it's quite the lineup of games, with today's release focusing on two, Asteroids and Missile Command, two original arcade games that were some of the most popular of their time. But more importantly than that, I've been staring at this game for quite some time, as it's the first game alphabetically in the Game Boy Vault. Finally, been waiting to do this for years. The cover is colorful and fun, but it does have a major pet peeve of mine. Yes, the asteroids and the missile are cool, but why do you have the title over the Game Boy sidebar? I always hated that. Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. Can you cram two arcade games onto one cartridge? Get those quarters out. It's time for Arcade Classic 1. Nintendo presents. Yes, because they published it. In association with... Oh, here we go. Who's it going to be? The Code Monkeys. Accolade? What? Wait, this was developed by Code Monkeys. Huh. Asteroids, Atari. Missile Command, Atari. Literally everything, Atari. Asteroids Missile Command. Two in one, a.k.a. Arcade Classics. This is, this is just noise. Oh, there we go. Decent music. All right, we have two games to pick from. And, I mean, I guess we'll just start with Asteroids. Oh, yeah, if we hit start. Accolade presents... Okay, I gotta look into this. Because all the research I did said it was Code Monkeys who did this. Uh, difficulty, hang on. Hyper Fire Thrust Graphic Style... Oh! Well, let's go with Updated. Uh, we'll have... Two Asteroids is difficulty. Yep, it's Asteroids. So this was a classic arcade game. Uh, I'll take a look at the original where it was all just like weird lines. But the basic idea is you... Explode. Yep, that's the game. It's short. No, the basic idea is... You have to destroy... Oh my god, I'm bad at this. Destroy all the Asteroids. Each time you shoot them, they turn into smaller Asteroids. Oh, hello. Oh, God. UFO. Okay, we're good. And I believe A... Teleports you completely randomly on the screen. Basically, just if you're in trouble, you can get out of jail free. Uh, it's a touch laggy. Just a bit. Not bad, though. Woohoo! Uh, more ast- Oh, God. Oh, God. I explode. Man, I'm not good at asteroids. Well, yeah, it's Asteroids. I mean, that's pretty much what we expected out of this, right? Classic graphics. Yeah. Yeah, vectors. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this. I, I kind of like this better. <laughs> like, Asteroids, I believe, is one of the first arcade games ever made. It's a fascinating look at just the early days of gaming. And this is... Oh, look at that UFO. I don't even want to destroy it. Oh, it exploded. So yeah, this game is very much like uh, Space Invaders from a couple weeks ago, where it's just a straight-up re-release of the original arcade. See, one of the things about Asteroids is that it's so simple, it's kind of impossible to get bored with the concept. Not only is it the first arcade game, it's like the utter definition of a pick-up-and-play game. So, by the way, I did look into it, and this cartridge is one of those ones that gets enhanced by the Super Game Boy, but it's not quite as interesting as uh, Space Invaders was. This one pretty much just adds a uh, cool background and some extra color. 
Otherwise, you have to find out if it was Accolade or Code Monkeys who made this. Were Code Monkeys called Accolade? Hang on. Okay, it's looking like Code Monkeys and Accolade were. Oh, see, there we go. Wow, just as I was saying that. Yeah, it looks like Code Monkeys and Accolade were one and the same. Okay, so we've taken a look at Asteroids. But, there were two games on this, weren't there? There were, and the second is Missile Command, a game that I always preferred to Asteroids. I had like a weird knockoff version of Missile Command for my old iMac, oh my god. Oh, this music rules. Missile Command, heck yeah. No options though. Defend Cairo, you can see Cairo's right down there. So basically, you shoot to stop the mi- the missiles, why they- there we go. Oh, and it's A to shoot the left one, B to shoot the right one, and I just realized you have limited missiles. Something about the way the lines fly just made me love this game. Boy, I hope that was a good guy who I just exploded. So this game came out, I believe, the year after Asteroids came out, and was also a massive hit just because graphically, like, this was the future. You understand, in the early 80s, vectors were the rage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, do, do I get that back? Oh, it's New York, you can tell because the Statue of Liberty's right there. No. Hey, this pack is, you know, pretty solid in terms of what it's giving you. However, it does have the same problem that Space Invaders does, which is if you're looking for some sort of massive... Oh, um, New York. If you're looking for some sort of massive upgrade, you're not really going to get it. This is a pretty much a graphical step up, and that's about it. Uh, I can't help but feel we might be in trouble. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, good news, the game is fun. Bad news, the city is destroyed. Oh, but they're awarding me a bonus city. Oh, good. See, London rebuilt itself. It's, it's, it, it's fine, I, I guess. Just another trip down memory lane. Well, two trips, technically. When it comes to porting arcade games, sometimes the companies go with total rebuilds from the ground up, much like Yar's Revenge. But in this case, rather than a full rebuild, it was more just hanging a few curtains, maybe adding a lovely lamp in the corner. The most that either game got was a graphical upgrade, making it run a little better and improving the quality of the sprites, and even then only Asteroids had the option to switch back and forth between the original and new graphics, while Missile Command you just had to stick with the updated ones. That said, the games played just as well as ever, and both were quite enjoyable games. As I said, they're the kind of games you can jump into at any time for some fun arcade action. That said, that's pretty much all you can do. I've said this before about other arcade releases for the Game Boy, but when the game is just the arcade version with nothing else, it definitely feels lacking. The Game Boy certainly had its fair share of smaller games, but it was also capable of so much more, which is why it's surprising to just see the arcade games with very little added. But on the other hand, it was two full arcade games that you could take anywhere, and they were really fun games. And let's not forget, these games were designed a bit with the Super Game Boy in mind, with the extra borders around them. So they did actually cram a lot into the cartridge, it's just that not a lot of it was gameplay. I'm sure I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but if you're a fan of the arcade games, this is worth picking up. But if not, it's okay to skip it. You may get some enjoyment out of discovering the arcade classics, but if you're looking for a bold reimagining of those classics, look elsewhere. Well, at least I finally cleaned up the top of the Game Boy Vault list. You're on notice, Centipede and Millipede. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.